just landed in Osaka. Well, not landed, we caught a train. We caught the bullet train for the very first time and it was really exciting and fast. We also saw Mount Fuji on the way and some beautiful Japanese people. We weren't sitting on the side, but they got up and um, let us sit over there so we could see Mount Fuji. But anyway, welcome back to a new vlog, everyone. It is my Osaka vlog, which is really exciting. Osaka has a very different vibe to Tokyo and is a little bit more like Melbourne, people say. They describe it a little bit more, I don't know, like edgy, a little bit more low key. So I'm really excited to explore it. I'm wearing this really cute tracksuit from COS, which I purchased in Tokyo and it was one of the last pieces yet. So I think it goes to show how much it's been quite popular here. Really different style for me. It's just really comfortable and baggy and oversized so yeah I really like it so now we might go grab something to eat we've honestly been eating this whole time we've been here so are we really hungry like I don't know um, but I think we'll still go out and get something to eat and I think we might do a little bit of shopping as well so yeah <laughs> to Osaka Castle which is a castle that was built in the 16th century so very old it's just insane that something like that is preserved so well on the exterior as well there is a moat that runs the entire length of the castle and I think it's one of the most preserved like moats in the world I think I'm just in Cosme, which is a really great cosmetic store. It is a little bit pricier, but what's the best about it is that they rank everything as well. So you've got face cream and then they have number one, number two. They vote on it yearly as well. So it's really great to see what is trending in Japan. I've only picked up a few things today because I already have so much packed in my case. So the first one is this Fino hair mask, which you've probably seen before. It is really popular here. Apparently it's supposed to make your neck really silky smooth. I've been looking out for it in Melbourne, but it's always sold out when I go to look for it. I've got this vitamin C as well. This is absolutely great. I already used this product. You've probably seen it on my YouTube channel before and I just thought I'd stock up because I'm in Japan and this is where it's from. I purchased this little makeup as well. This is another one that's been voted number one here at Cosme. This is the little trouble size. I purchased a full size a few days ago as well. So I'm really excited to try it. I'm hoping the color is good for me, but we'll see how we go. I'm running out of sunscreen as well. And this one is by Elixir. It's SPA 50 PA++++. And I just thought I'd pick this one up because 
because I needed a new sunscreen. And lastly, this is my favorite cleanser that I've been using while I've been away. It's just so convenient to have in your, your luggage rather than having a cream. You just get it out and you mix it with water and then natural cleanser. It's so good. This is one of my favorite products. I'm just in 7-Eleven and what they do really well is they have these smoothies. I was hoping to go for the green juice one just because I'm still feeling out of weather, but that's okay. <laughs> so instead I'm just going to go for the blueberry strawberry one. I also find this really nice as well because at the moment we've been eating a lot of ramen and a lot of sandwiches, not too many greens, and I find this is great fiber. So I'm going to have this one now as just like a little afternoon pick me up after my sandwich. So what you have to do is, there's a barcode on here, you just scan that one, gotta sit you down, then you just open it, close the lid, just okay. Okay, so this is this movie. It loads it up absolutely amazing. It tastes really good as well. It's just really clean and good ingredients. So I thought I would do a little bit of check-in. I just had my nails done um, from these gorgeous girls. I found that, well, I was walking past their store and they had one of those like Instagram QR codes. So I scanned it, messaged them, apologized that I couldn't speak Japanese. I was like, do you happen to have an appointment today? Because I broke one of my nails and it was driving me insane um, and looked really ugly. So I went in, they fitted me in and they were just so beautiful. Um, and she did a really great job.